A works twice as fast as B. If B can complete a work in 12 days independently, the number of days in which A and B can together finish the work is. Well, B completes the work in 12 days. Right. It is given to us. Now, what we want is in how many days can A complete the work? Well, it is given that A works twice as fast as B, which means that A can complete the work in half of the days taken by B, isn't it? So 12 by 2 and that is 6 days. So these two people A and B take 6 and 12 days to complete their respective work. Now let us calculate the work done in one day. So work done in one day by A is equals to 1 by 6, isn't it? And the work done by B in one day is equals to 1 by 12. Now let us calculate the work done by both of them working together in one day. So A plus B and that is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 and that is going to be 3 by 12 and 3 times 4 is 12. So 1 by 4 is the work done in one day, isn't it? So if the work done in one day is 1 by 4, how many days are required to complete the work? Well, the reciprocal of the work done in one day and that is 4 days are required. I hope you understand this. So option A is the correct answer. A is thrice as good a workman as B and therefore is able to finish a job in 60 days less than B. Working together they can do it in how many days? Well let us consider that B can do the complete work in X days and it is also given that A is able to finish the job in 60 days less than B. So A completes work in X minus 60 days. But it is also given that A is thrice as good a workman as B which means that the time taken by A is one third of the time taken by B. So this is also going to be X by 3. So x by 3 is basically equals to x minus 60. And when you solve it, x will come out to be as 90. So this is 90 days. B completes work in 90 days and A completes work in 30 days. Now you got the basic data. Now you can calculate the work done by both A and B working together in one day. And that is equals to work done by A in one day. So it will be 1 by 30 plus work done by B in one day and that's going to be 1 by 90 and that is equals to when you'll solve it you'll get 2 by 45. So this is the work done by both A and B in one day. So in how many days will they do complete work together? So this is basically 45 by 2 and that is equals to 22 and half. So in 22 and a half days, both working together can complete the work. Sakshi can do a piece of work in 20 days. Tanya is 25% more efficient than Sakshi. The number of days taken by Tanya to do the same piece of work is. Well, let us assume that work done by Sakshi in 20 days is 100. Now Tanya is 25% more efficient than Sakshi. This means that in the same time period of 20 days, Tanya works 25% more than Sakshi. That means the work done is 25% more than Sakshi. So 25% increase in 100 is 125, isn't it? So work done by Tanya is 125 in 20 days. Now what is asked is the number of days taken by Tanya to do the same piece of work. So what is asked is what is the number of days when Sanya does the same piece of work as Sakshi that is 100. So just cross multiply and equate x times 125 is equal to 20 times 100. So x is equal to 20 times 100 by 125. Now 25 times 5 is 125 and 25 times 4 is 100. 5 times 4 is 20. So 4 times 4 
is 16. So 16 days is the time or the number of days taken by Tanya to do the same piece of work. So option B is the correct answer. A is 30% more efficient than B. How much time will they take working together to complete a job which A alone could have done in 23 days? Now A is 30% more efficient than B which means that the work done by A is 30% more than the work done by B. So A is equals to 130% of B. Now what else is given? We have been given that A completes the job in 23 days. Now let us assume that B completes this work in X days. Now we have been given that that work done by A is 130% of the work done by B. That is A is 130 by 100 of B and that is 13 by 10 of B. So the time taken by A would be 10 by 13 of the time taken by B. Right. So 23 is basically 10 by 13 of the time taken by B. So therefore now we can find out the value of this X which is the time taken by B. So we have 10 by 13 X is equal to 23. So X is equal to 23 times 13 by 10 and therefore X is equals to 299 by 10. So the time taken by B to complete the whole work is 299 by 10. So now we have the time taken by A and B we can calculate other stuff. So in one day work done by both A and B together is work done by A in one day that's 1 by 23 plus work done by B in one day and that will be 10 by 299 and if you solve this you'll get 1 by 13 as the work done by both A and B and this is in one day. So 1 by 13 of the work is done in one day. So the total work is done in 13 days, the reciprocal of this term, isn't it? So the answer is option B.